Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this entire makeup look and I'm going to kind of show you how I did my hair as well. This look is one of my favourites. I am sure you guys are going to really like it and one of the reasons that I love it so much is that it's so easy. The eye makeup's actually super, super easy. The lip is the easiest and I'm using a product which I actually think looks sick. I am super excited to show you guys how I got the eye look, the skin look and the lips. This product I just think looks so good. It's literally just one product that I went whew, on with. So I'm super excited for you guys to see. If you would like to see how I created this whole look, then please stay tuned. Hello. Okay, so I thought the first thing I could do is actually just show you quickly how I did my hair. So I was playing around with a makeup look yesterday and I did my hair and I've not washed it because I'm actually getting it done today. I created this really super easy, soft, slick back hair and it looks a bit mad when I don't have makeup on. When you've got makeup on, it makes the look quite complete. It's strange. So the product I actually used for this is IGK Alma Oil High Shine Top Coat expensive it's called. So all I did was I got some of this, but ye much, rubbed my hands together to kind of melt the product down a little bit and then I just used my fingers, I brushed my hair back and then I used my fingers just to go through the very roots to make sure it's all back and the product itself is nice, it's not, um, it doesn't dry hard or anything like that so you can really move your hair about afterwards so if you're doing this and then you feel like you just want to brush it into a tight ponytail or something you totally can and yeah I know it looks a bit mad just now but just bear with me okay for the makeup I'm super excited I am going to do the purple look that I just posted uh, recently on my Instagram so I'll pop a picture here this picture was actually an ad for L'Oreal I've been using their purple shampoo so I worked with them on that loads of you guys loved the makeup because it's been a little while since I played with colour so that's what we're going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already done all my skincare. I'm actually not going to use primer. I'm going to use the NARS Super Radiant Booster and it's almost like a kind of liquid illuminator and I'm going to get a little bit of that because this look I think another reason I loved it so much was it was very much eye focused. I'm just going to put this on all over. Yeah the look itself is super eye focused. You can see that I've only got a lip gloss on. I don't have any kind of overlined lips. I don't have like a really heavy contour. The highlight is great but it's not super super blinding. This product I've been using quite a lot lately and I really like it because it gives you that gorgeous shine to your skin but it does not feel oily. It doesn't feel like I've got something super slippy on my skin. Just glowing, glowing to the gods. For foundation, I was struggling because there's a couple of new ones that I really want to show you guys, but this foundation I'm really liking. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Radiance Perfecting Foundation. There is a French word in there, but I'm not going to say it. And I'm going to take three pumps of that on the back of my hand. The colour I am is 3-in-1 buff. And I'm just going to buff this into my skin. And this foundation I used in a, in a previous video and so many of you guys love the look of it. And I really do too. And the colour is just perfect for me. It's a really like perfecting foundation if you know what I mean. I'm just buffing that on with my Smith 115 i.e. the brush that I always talk about. Look at that. Straight away it's just beautiful. I really just love the texture and the formula, the way it sits on my skin. I just I really love it. And I'm not sure what I would compare it to. You guys know that I love my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I absolutely love it. I do feel like the NARS lasts a wee bit longer on the skin and it's fuller coverage. This is definitely a medium coverage. I don't even know what they market it as but I would say it's 100% a medium finish. Like I've just gone in with a couple more pumps so you do have to use quite a lot but oh man the finish it gives you is unparalleled. Especially with that gorgeous radiance booster that I use as a primer. Look at that. Oh my god. And see in real life oh it just looks this looks so good. So I have had to use about four and a half pumps. Is it worth it? 100%. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just going to apply it a wee bit under my eyes. And I'm just going to buff that in with my Smith 115 brush. And then I do like adding a little bit of concealer just to my forehead right in the centre because that is the very centre of my face and that's where I want the most coverage. And then I'm actually going to take my concealer and just go slightly over my brow and just slightly onto the kind of brow bone and that will just help us later on, you'll see. Like for me, I just think that that is the perfect 
amount of coverage. Really love it, really, really love it. For bronzer, I am gonna go straight in with an old day but goodie. This is MAC Give Me Sun. I've been using this loads again lately and I'm not gonna cream contour. I've been doing that quite a lot lately, but this makeup, for something that's quite glam, it's really scaled back, so it's really easy and it's pretty quick as well. So I'm gonna use this bronzer with my Swift 118 brush and we're just gonna go straight on top of the skin that we've just done and we're gonna start bronzing. Just like so, as you see, it gives just a really nice glow to the skin. I'm not going ham with the contour or anything. Usual spots, cheeks under the chin, down the neck a little bit, just to make sure everything's tying up. And then I do love a wee bronzed forehead. And then I'm gonna actually just really lightly dust this on the sides of my nose. And then I actually just like a wee bit on the nose and under the nose. Nothing too serious, just a quick bronze. So you can see that that's giving me a little bit more of a summer glow. The next thing I'm gonna go in with, surprising, blusher. Uh, this is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek like Stick and Work. We spoke about this last time. I just like to do this. Smile and then I just pat it on. You see that? That's quite sore actually, don't do it that hard. And then I'm gonna get my foundation brush and just buff the edges that are still on fresh foundation. I do think it just blends into the contour really nicely though. I don't think you need to blend it into the powder. Now we've done that, I'm gonna go in with my powder and the one that I've been really liking recently is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Banana. The little brush I've been using is by LC Cosmetics, the F9 brush. And I just get a little bit from the lid and I just like to use this under my eyes and instead of packing the powder on, I'm just buffing it with the brush into the skin. It does really just smooth everything out. Super easy as well. I like to just put a wee dust into that in my centre areas. Smile lines in my chin, just the centre. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use Becca Opal. Is anybody surprised? Absolutely not. I'm going to use this on the high points of my cheeks and this just looks like butter. If you've watched my skincare video, you'll know that I've been using my Ulla Henriksen toner. I really do think that that has retexturized my skin, which means that my highlight and all my creams and stuff just go on so lovely. A wee bit of highlight above my eyebrow. And then I'm going to swap my brush to a small little eyeshadow brush just to tin man my nose. For me, that skin is the most perfect day-to-day -day skin. I would wear this skin every day. It is so flattering. What you do next can totally change the look. So we're gonna do this loud lilac purple eye and it's just gonna change the fucking game, okay? Right, let's zoom you in. For this eye look, it is so easy. The product that is the most important is this base. This is the P. Louise Basic in the shade Vivid Violet. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this onto my brush. So all I did was applied this all over my lid and then up into the crease. It looks sick by itself, it looks so good. I've only ever done this look that one time and I actually had makeup on already and I took off my eye makeup and just did this quite quickly on top and I ended up really loving it. Oh, so cool. So I'm gonna go in with a Morphe eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna start using this brush to blend this primer in, which I don't know if that's the kind of advertised way of using it, but this is what I did last time. It worked really good. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, let's do the other eye, same thing. We're gonna squeeze a wee bit of the primer on. And again, we're just gonna paint it all over the lid. And I'm taking my time just because I don't wanna go too far with this. Because it's bright purple, it would be harder just to blend away than the usual base. And the brush I'm using to pat it on is actually the P. Louise brush. She's got a set of three, so I don't know what one this is out of those three, but this is one of her brushes. So you can see the difference of when it's blended out. And we're just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to make sure I've got them even. Once you got to this stage, obviously we've just used the base, which is creamy, so you need to set it. So I had a look through my palettes, and this is one of the only palettes that I found this purpley pastel colour. This is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, and this shade here is perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to use this colour right here, and then I started mixing in this one and this one just to create a little bit of depth in the crease. So first we're gonna pack on that lightest color all over just to set. It's a wee bit more pinky, a wee bit warmer than the base, but that's fine because you're still getting that bright, bright, bright lilac from the base. And we're bringing that right up 
and then we're setting the crease, that's the most important part. You can see here it started to crease already. So what we do is we just make sure that that's all nice and matte and set. And if you've got a colour at home that's even closer to this lilac, then perfect. This is all I could find, but I do think it's working great. And now I'm going to go in with those two darker colours mixed a little bit with the lighter colour, just all three of them. And this is with a MAC 224. And we're just going to start blending that in the crease. With these bases, it's almost like it's definitely a good idea to just go in with eyeshadow on top just to make sure nothing's going to go anywhere. And we're not going too dark with the smoky eye. I do want it to be more of a kind of wash of colour. Just like so. For underneath the eye, I'm going to use a pencil. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Colour Pencil in the shade Versatile Violet, which is 902. And I'm going to use this in my waterline. And then I'm also going to drag it under my eye. Just like so. Same another eye. And once we've done that, we're going to go in with that dark purple and a little smudger brush. And we're just going to smudge that pencil out and get a little bit more of an intense colour underneath. This is one of the new Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon. And this is in the shade Grapevine. For the top of my lash line, I actually, I'm just going to draw this on and create a tiny little wing, but not big at all. You can see just the difference that makes, it just kind of extends the eye a wee bit. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Artist pencil that I used in the bottom, just to go over that line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little tiny brush in that dark purple, and we're just going to go over where we've done that gel liner, and you can also use the brush just to smudge it a little bit. Okay, so it looks... I don't want to say wishy-washy just now, but it doesn't look complete and it's because of the lashes. I used huge lashes in the last look and I really loved it. Just to add a little bit of something something, I have here my Natasha Denona Duo Chrome Top Coat in the shade Lavender Gold and Silver. And I actually just flipped over the brush that I used to pack on the pigment just to pick up a little bit of this. And then I just patted it onto the centre you can see it just adds a little bit more of a kind of glossy finish instead of it being so matte and I'm just putting that on the lower lid and then for the inner corner I'm just going to pop on a little bit of Becca Opal for lashes in the look previous I actually used Lily Lashes in the style MILF I have since then lost one of them so I can't use it but I have here the Mimima Mitchell lashes in collaboration with Tatty Lashes, so I'm going to glue these up. While I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm going to shove on some of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, which I have been really liking actually. I think at first I said I wasn't sure, but I've actually been using it ever since I filmed with it. I'm just going to pop a nice coating of that on top and bottom lashes. Okay, and while we're here, I may as well highlight my brow bone. Just the top right here. Well, it just ties in with the skin a little bit more. Time for lashes. These guys are big lashes. I just thought they looked so cool with this look. There we go, eyes are done. I'm gonna nip off camera quickly, do my brows, and we'll be right back to finish up. Hello, brows are done. Just a super normal brow for me. And I'm gonna zoom you out and we'll finish off the look. Wait. Okay, for lips on this look, it is so easy because there is no lipstick, there is no lip liner, there is only lip gloss. I'm using the new Iconic Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Nearly Nude. I have had this on my lips so much lately. I'm just going to show you an array of pictures of me wearing this lip gloss. I flipping love it and I just think it looks really, really gorgeous with this look. I don't think that a big bold lip is needed with this eye colour. There's six different shades. This is one of the nudier shades. Rumour has it. It was not a rumour because it's true. But in Ariana Grande's Seven Rings video, she's wearing the shade Peekaboo in the video. She's wearing this lip gloss, so it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. It is plumping, but it's not the same as other lip plumpers that I've tried. A lot more gentle and it's not stingy, it's more like minty. It feels like minty on your lips. But I literally just whacked it on. Look at this. And that's it. And it's not like a gloopy lip gloss, it's more like a, it's softer. Do you know what I mean? Your lips don't stick together when you're talking and it just kind of fades really beautifully as well. But 
this is the final look you guys I hope you really like it I absolutely love it I think this is such a cool oh wait I brought my hoop earrings there we go we are complete let me know what you think about this look down below. I really love it. One of you guys commented on the picture saying that they felt like this was very old school Jamie G and I completely agree. As always, all the products that I use in this tutorial will be linked down below for your convenience. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, just making sure that the mic is still working because you never fucking know. Disgusting. I don't actually use as much concealer. I say I say I'm not using I don't use that much concealer while I put it all over my face. No 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 <laughs> You know nothing to committal. Is that that's not a word? That is not a word. And the powder goes on top. I've got a dog hair on my face. Oh my god, that is itchy. Not to toot my own. Oh, I just kicked the camera. Girls love girls.